All right, everyone. It is Saturday, August 6th, 2020, or excuse me, Friday, August 6th, 2021. Day two of the 34th annual USA Nationals. It is Puka. It is the one to go show. Uh, just uh, wanted to welcome everybody. And of course, our show, our newest partner, Blue Line Brews, this little clip brought to you by, by Blue Line Brews. Here's the detective special. Remember, 10% of the profits made by Blue Line Brews goes back to families of fallen officers. And we're just going to take a little tour here of Cedar Lake. So great to see everybody. There's been some improvements. So if you know someone that's a Cedar Lake fan, hasn't been here in a while, you're going to want to share this. Also comment if I miss anything on any of the improvements. But how many of you remember making this right-hand turn right here into Cedar Lake Speedway? Always a good feeling. Washed out last night, of course, so but here it is. How many of you remember this? What a good feeling. Just feels like vacation. So one big change at Cedar Lake over the last couple years is this is the property across the street. As you can see, they've added a lot of camping. And this is also used for parking now at events like the USA Nationals. 1,200 campsites, it's kind of hard to get a lot of parking in when you have so many campers. So they bought all this land. Last year, I think there might have been, I don't know, 25 campers on this property. And now you can see, it's really pretty filled up. And then you can see where People can get in here and just do some parking here, especially for Saturday night's main event. Hope I can get this on the camera here, but one thing they also did was concrete in the pits. If you can see the slabs there, there they are. So the concrete slabs, I think this is the second year, maybe third year, they've got the slabs. So that's kind of what that looks like now. A few different rows of those. This is a spot many of you spend a lot of your time at. There's where the party is after the race is in the pits. You remember the canopy has been lost for a few years, so it's back on, as you can see. So next time you're here, be ready to party. All right, here we are inside of some wet grounds at the Cedar Lake Speedway. So I wanted to show you this. So some of you might remember on some of the bigger shows how narrow this corridor is. They've added about six feet of concrete, pushed the bleachers six feet closer. Now, not sure if they ran out of time here or ran out of bleachers, but they've either got this set up now for lawn chairs or like I said, possibly they're going to add more bleachers in or Maybe they're still scrounging for Metrodome seats. Let's get down to the track here and see. Like I said, heavy, heavy monsoon rains last night. And uh, pretty sticky out there. Pretty wet, yeah. <laughs> I don't think I'm going to delve into it then. <laughs> Probably a good idea. <laughs> but yeah. Let's take a look. A uh, little drier on the top, so I think they're going to work her in. Seagulls are having a good time enjoying their day at Cedar Lake Speedway, too. So here you are. That's what she looks like now. Ain't she a beauty? So there it is, everyone. Hope you enjoyed the little tour, kind of an update of what's been going on here at Cedar Lake Speedway. If you haven't been here in a while, like I said, if you enjoyed it, please share it, especially to those that haven't been here in a while. Big thanks again to Blue Line Brews for everything they're doing with Gold Sports and the One to Go show. And uh, please comment if I miss something as far as improvements. And uh, we'll catch you all on the next video. Thank you.